All right, I'm out in Parker's plot to get ready to get a baseline with a soil sample before I um, switch it over to the Vitalize 1-2 system. I'm gonna start out with carbon load. Uh, as you can see, I got a Mars tail problem, um, but the clover is coming in good here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take a soil sample before I spray it and six, eight samples in this section and six, eight samples in that section and mix it up. Send those out to um, be analyzed, hopefully get a result back before I come back up next weekend. And, um, and I'll amend the soil to the recommendations. I'll, set, I'll show Al the soil sample and we'll get together and come up with a plan. Um, in the meantime, today, I'm gonna spray two quarts per acre of glyphosate and then I'm gonna spot mow where the Mars tail is because I wanna get it before it's just starting to go to seed and I wanna get it mowed off before the rest goes to seed. Mars tail usually is gly glyphosate resistant, so I probably have to hit it hard with 2,4-D next year at some point to kill all of this. But, but that's the plan so far is get a soil test, spot mow the Mars tail, and um, two quarts per acre for the rest of the plot. And then I'm gonna um, seed my vitalized carbon load into it sometime later today and um, and then I'm gonna come out with a roller and I'm gonna roll it off and I'll show you guys that in the next video but I'm excited it's uh it's two things I want to turn get the soil better which it is getting better with me doing the rye and the clover every year but I want to get the soil better but also attract deer more because this is Parker's spot and I do everything that I can to make sure that she's seeing deer. Um, I don't care what I do during the season anymore. It's about my kids and my grandkids. So I, I want to get this spot turned around for her. It's the closest spot to the cabin and she don't like walking in the dark. So this is her spot. So it's got to get turned around. And I think that between me following Ale's instructions and doing the Vitalize 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 system, um, we can do both improve the soil and attract deer. So um, yeah, follow along. This is the first step. Soil test, spray, mow, spot mow the Mars tail. I don't want to mow everything. And uh, let's get her going. ready to plant the vitalized seed. Uh, it's got my soil sample all mixed up. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to take a, a Ziploc bag, put, put that in there and bring it home. Uh, okay, we got, um, we got a seed armor that came with the bag. So Al said that I just need to mix it up inside a container and then seal the container till I see the second half. So. So this bag is good for the whole 23 pounds, 22 and a half pounds. He wasn't lying, he told me to keep this stuff away from the interior of my car, he's right.
go. Alright, I'm gonna weigh out uh, 11 pounds. Yeah, 11 pounds. Put it in my spreader and uh, I will bring the camera out to the field when I start seeding. I'm gonna drag it and roll it it won't hurt um, I'm not positive if we're gonna get this rain they're forecasting rain for uh, Sunday night into Tuesday and they keep flip-flopping back and forth so just in case I want to put a little bit more effort into getting the seed buried and in the ground to protect it if it does get dry so I said I said I got the drag I'm gonna drag it and roll the roller filled up with water and uh, it's the last step uh, roll it and then pray for rain um, little hint little advice keep if you guys want any equipment like this just put something on marketplace Facebook marketplace that they'll notify you if there's something that comes up that you're looking for $30 couple was moving wanted to get rid of everything picked it up for 30 bucks but anyways, Facebook market. done uh, time to pray for rain this crab apple tree here was a drop time it was a huge draw for her last year and this year it didn't produce any crab apples maybe one or two and then this uh, what's this a sheep nose apple tree and uh, so she's gonna have some apples for her bow season this tree's pretty loaded with apples, which I'm happy for her. I always wondered about this apple tree with the shade around it here, but it is producing. But uh, I just want to talk about the plot here. Um, it's been sprayed, rolled, mowed for the horse uh, Mars tail. And uh, here's the section here where the Mars tail was. And then this is the clover that was coming in, but this has all been sprayed. So this will die off. Some of it probably will come back. This area here is part of the swamp here. And it has really, it holds moisture. And it always, this area here always grows. Look at the clover. It always grows good. So... I'm not really even worried about it. I did I did spray that and seed into it but I just want to go over the plot now so you can get kind of get an idea of what it looks like when I come back um, this is the 
this is the worst spot right here for some reason and it might be because of this big giant red pine right here and um, I'm gonna make a decision if I drop that but the way it's leaning I'll probably have to do a lot of cutting because it's probably gonna fall into the plot which I don't really want to do but uh but this corner right here always struggles it's doing better now with the clover rye and this side's doing better you can see there's a lot of clover but there was a lot of mars tail in here so i had to mow pretty much all of it um yeah so just kind of following around more apples on our apple tree here but this is a crossbow crab apple and uh this actually got quite a few crab apples on it though but that doesn't don't do her no good for bow season this is more of a spot this is supposed to be more of a later dropping crab apple so hopefully it sticks around for her for firearm season but so this is a horrible spot right here see we gotta improve that down here you can see there's nothing grows in there it's all been seeded really thin down here and just get a comparison kind of a baseline for when I a couple years of using the vitalized one two system we get that soil sample out and then I'll uh, I'll post that what the results are but that's it this is done except for um, um over Labor Day weekend I'll have the other 10 pounds to put down and then I all my clover plots in the back I am um, oversee those with rye and oats too so I still have a, another full day of work ahead of me but I'm gonna um Go get some water now and I'm gonna put cameras out. See, I saw a buck this morning in my front plot. He was a pretty good buck too. He come he must be bedding by that plot, but alright. The before and hopefully we got good after pictures.